Hello everybody and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Long time no see baby. <laughs> Today I'm back with another and I got which I also haven't done for a really long time, so I'm super excited for this one. A few months ago, I was watching my first Indie Girl video, and there was one thing that really stood out to me. Well, aside from the tragically bad editing, because that really stood out. Aside from that, the one thing that really stood out was how little I talked about pronunciation. Now, anybody watching this knows that pronunciation is the one thing that takes Indie Girl voice from every other pop sound to Indie Girl voice, because the scoops, the fries, the breathiness, all of that can be found in all styles of pop music. The only thing that really takes it over the edge and makes a certain voice indie girl is that cursed singing pronunciation. So what I wanted to do today was break it down a little bit more and try to explain to all of you how exactly to get that indie girl cursed singing pronunciation. As always, let me mention that I am in no way trying to make fun of this style of singing or any of the songs or artists that I reference. Obviously, I find this style of voice very fascinating and I'm in no way trying to downplay their success or their talent. As well, the tips I'm gonna give you are not universal. This is not the way every single indie girl artist pronounces their words, but it's kind of a good baseline and then you can interpret it yourself as you go. Now I know these videos can be long so if you don't feel like watching the whole thing I'm just going to summarize it really quick for you. To get into your pronunciation what you want to do is emulate the sound of a Danish baby with bronchitis. Make sure you close your mouth all the way and if you open it only open it up not down. Make sure you move your jaw around a lot. Never take in enough air, do a lot of vocal fry and scoops, and make sure all your vowels are pronounced kind of like this. Aye, aye, aye. All right, that's everything I got. Thanks for watching, class dismissed, peace. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the integral voice pronunciation is wacky, to say the least. Everything sounds like it's over enunciated and under enunciated at the same time, and you can never really understand what anybody's saying. I'm gonna try it to emulate that energy today. So we're gonna start first with vowels. The easiest way that I found to try to copy the indie girl vowels is to turn every vowel into an AI sound. In every song, there's words that have vowels that come before consonants, like touch or bask or good most words. Every time you have a word like that, you're going to change the vowels in the middle to A-I instead of whatever they are. The A-I sound is I. So if I were to do it in Stitches by Shawn Mendes, because indie girl singers can be from any gender, he says, you're a better heart code to the tight I. Let me show you with happy birthday. So the word happy and birthday obviously have vowels then consonants. So on those words, I'm gonna change the vowels to an A-I sound instead of whatever they are. So for happy, instead of a, ah, I'm gonna sing I. Listen to how indie girl that sounds. Happy birthday to you. It's always better to start going over the top and then reel it in than to start too little and not be able to figure out how to get to the place you want to be. If I change every vowel that comes before a consonant to AI sound, you're going to get that into your voice to the max, baby. And then you on your own can figure out if you'd like to downplay it or not. Now, if you don't remember how to actually get the integral voice sound, let me do a refresher. Because if we just go, hi, be birthday, tar ya, it still doesn't sound indie girl. What we have to do first is close our mouth pretty much all the way. We're gonna move our jaw a lot. So we're not gonna move our mouth to get that pronunciation, we're gonna move our face. Hi, be birthday, to you. You're gonna open your lips as little as possible. That's gonna make your voice sound way more pulled back, quiet, breathy. We're gonna use a little bit of that vocal fry uh, sound. We're also gonna do some scoops. Uh, we're gonna take a big breath, but we're gonna start breathing out before we actually start singing. So it sounds a little breathier. So we're gonna do that big belly breath and then happy bar instead of happy, okay? And then the last really crucial thing is we're gonna act as though we're about to yawn. You can see your tongue pulls back. It blocks off more of your throat. We want that. So we're gonna close our mouth, stick out our jaw, fry it, scoops, push out that air first, pull our tongue back. That's how we're gonna get that indie girl sound. Then we're gonna change the vowels to AI. Professional, let's go. Once you've practiced the AI vowel placement, the process it takes to get that sound coming out of your mouth, then you can try to modify it a little bit more, specify it, make it sound a little more realistic. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> the next thing up is consonants. So in the indie girl voice where the vowels are way over pronounced, the consonants are way under pronounced. So vowels are very pointed, 
Consonants are kind of meshed in with everything else. But what we want to remember in the integral voice pronunciation is that we want to try to smooth those consonants into the vowels that come after them as much as possible. For super hard consonants like T's or R's, they often put a little S in front of them, like you can't so. It's a little tss, tss, tss. So we put that little hiss sound in front of them because it softens the actual two. And for all the rest of the consonants, try to smooth out those consonants as much as you possibly can by focusing on the vowel that's coming before and or after them. Even though the years go by, yars, yars, yars. We never want to overpronounce. Relax that tongue, just push it back against the back of your teeth. Utilize all the skills you have, the scoops, the fries, the slides, the breathiness, that will help reduce the harshness of those consonants. And the last really important consonant is S's. There's two different ways we can do S's in the Indira voice. One is the S that's in the middle of the word. So I got issues. So that's what I talked about in the last video. Go. So your tongue pulls up similar to that yawn way and you just push the air out. And that'll give you that kind of rounded S that has an automatic SH built into it. So always put an H after the S's that come in the middle of the word. But I didn't talk about the S's that come at the beginning of the words. So let's say we have so, we don't want to go so you're a tough guy. What we do with the S's at the beginning of the word is a little like hiss sound. We do a TS sound. So if I'm using that trick I just said about the consonants where we put a little tss at the front of hard consonants, we're gonna also do the tss at the beginning of the S. So you put your tongue against the back of your teeth and just practice pushing that area. Listen to this sentence. So you're a tough guy. Okay, everybody, that is all the tips I have for you today. Hopefully that helped explain pronunciation of indie girl voice just a little bit better. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.